Nat 20. Welcome back to Nat 20, everyone, where in our previous episode, our adventurers explored more of the depths with a human friend they made along the way named El Caro. And then they found a prison camp where the people of the like outer world are being held captive and being used as slave labor to dig deeper down into the depths. And our crew, our adventures just befriended, that's in quotes, a Shardana and convinced him to strap some, some things of dynamite to him and then explode. Or no, I don't think he strapped it to himself. <laughs> <laughs> He uh, just put dynamite and lit it right near their, like, the main Shardana camp behind the prison camp. And everyone just heard a loud bang and then screaming that sound kind of similar to Jonathan's scream for about 10 seconds. Well, we told and then, the scream, so. Yeah, and then the screaming just died. And now you hear commotion going on in the, like, main cave area. What a mystery. You know, like he had a bomb right next to himself, and then he starts screaming. After it goes <laughs> off, like, what happened to that guy? Man, I hope he's okay. Oh, and he had, uh, he had like two kids and wife too. I think I said last yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Gage likes to get everyone we kill kids. And <laughs> well, like based on the parameters of the spell, I don't think we can order him to do harm to himself. So we didn't tell him to kill himself. We told him to blow up. <laughs> we told him to blow something up. Okay, so maybe he blew himself up of his own volition. It was yeah. an accident. Cool. It was a happy accident. Yo, I'm gonna set this off and not think about the consequences. <laughs> uh, so, what would what would everyone like to do right now? So we're back at that cave. Yeah, that, like the uh, camp you're just in like the tunnels that lead from the previous cave to this large okay. cave encampment, prison camp type thing. Uh, let's bum rush mm-hmm. everyone. And, no, uh, let's not. Let's okay. sneak in like we agreed to. Agree? I'm not sneaky. Well, no, I mean, like, that's why we set off a distraction. That's why we could just run in there after they're all distracted and okay. immediately grab their attention and start fighting them. We distracted them so we could divert attention and just go straight to the prisoners. That's a better plan. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> that was the original plan. <laughs> so we're going to try and get as many people out as possible, but we all can only activate the portal once. No, you can activate it as many times as oh. you need to. Oh, yeah. Okay. And, like, uh, it lasts for ten minutes, and then you just have to press the button, and again, and, and then it just opens up again. Cool. We should easy, be able to easy. round them all up. But you don't years. actually know exactly where this portal will lead to. Oh, that doesn't worry. sound great. <laughs> what if it leads, like... All you know is that it leads to the, like, outer world. Do we know if it's a two-way portal? No. Uh, you, you would... A... Pr- do an arcana check, please. What do you mean by two-way portal? Like, can you go through it and then back again? Like, if we if we set up the portal, then it, is it going to appear somewhere people yeah, can go through it? Yeah, you believe it is two ways. Okay. Okay, so we set it up. But you can only go in, like, one way at a time. So, like, two people can't go into the portal one from each direction at the exact same time. Yeah. Or some really weird shit had happened. I thought you said you could only use it from in the depths to get out. And then out to get to this specific place in the depths. I may not have said that last episode. I don't know. Yeah, I was going okay. to yeah, yeah, sorry. I was just Yo, well, we're going to use it and we're going to show up at Artemis' back porch. And then he's just going to show up. Hey, we got a bunch of marbles. We can just fucking chuck them all. So I'll chuck the whole bag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel like one of our That was my first scout. mistake. <laughs> yeah. Um, that'd be best. Set it out that through a portal? Ago. Yeah. Yeah. So one of us. Wait, we don't have first. time to scout. We're in a time crunch. We just set off a oh, ball. Okay, yeah, 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 okay give me five minutes. Go through this portal. Check it out. And come back. And then he back away hundreds of people. No, like it's like a okay. Sorry. So plan here. we can activate the portal, and then we can go through it, and then we can come back, or we yeah. have to like reactivate it on the outside to come back in. Uh, you can come back out of it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, we can just go ahead real quick. Just poke your head through the portal. See if you're like there's a giant blue dude with an axe swinging down towards you. If not, we're good to go. Flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> we should send the revenant to do it. <laughs> Alright, let's just go. Let's do this thing already. Are we gonna try with the with you? Yeah. Let's go to the prisoners while they're distracted. The bomb yeah. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's sneak in. Will we have advantage on Yeah, you'd have right? advantage on your self checks. Alright. Cool. Let's and have a stealth up, boys. That is a natural 20. Oh! oh you have advantage, so roll again. <laughs> 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 then if you get two nat 20s, it's a double so 40. 40. Yeah. Oh, I have. That's, that's rolled an 18. That's actually sick first roll. That is like, yeah. you that's and the That's why you're nice, too. 
15? So we, where's my 16? 16. 16. Is it like a group thing where we just like do the average high? Yeah. Like, in case someone rolls real shit. Uh, uh, roll again. Is that your first one? Yeah. <laughs> you can just roll it on here and say, ah, 20 minutes here. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Oh, that's a 12. It slipped out of my hand. No, do you have a plus? Yeah, it's 10 plus 2. Okay, so with all the commotion that's going on at this moment, you're able to easily sneak into this huge cavern, and you see the Bulgaria is starting to try to round people up and try to keep them, like, calm and... Well, not really calm, (laughs) but just keep them working. That's and the Shardana are, some of the Shardana are doing the same thing, and some others are just trying to figure out where this bomb went, or where this dynamite went off, and why it went off. And same with the Rudderkin. So there's like a giant red demon gorilla going, It wouldn't remain calm! He's just kind of like growling oh. and yelling at everyone. <laughs> and he, he speaks abyssal, Don't and he's using telepathy too. Oh yeah. Wow. And you are not noticed as you walk into this room. There's also a lot of dust in this room, especially now that more diamond has gone off. Okay, sweet. Should we open the portal first, see where that appears? Well, I mean, we don't really have much of a choice anyway, so let's just... We kind of activated. didn't think that through. We should have, that should have been, like, before yeah. we even set the bomb off. So let's just activate it. One of us can go through with the first group of people, and hopefully they don't die. I'll go first. I don't want to be here anymore. Okay. <laughs> you have <laughs> the to come back. Me out. You yeah. have to come back and help us out. Why don't we throw a bomb? All right, first. Gage, I forgot my spell sheet. It's so a terrible idea. What if it's, like, the middle yeah. of a okay. city? Like, innocent civilians just die. Can you imagine that a portal opening up in like your backyard and a bomb just comes sailing out? <laughs> it's like boom, see ya, what up? Okay, uh, I I will go I'll go through with the first party then. Who has a stone? It's oh, me. Yeah. It's, it's a me. me. It's a me. Aaron. Oh. So are you activating? Yeah, I will. Okay. I'll push the button. Okay, so you push the. Shouldn't we get close to the group of people first? Oh. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, because you were just like around. So you guys came in from here, and you guys are about here right now. There are people in the mines, well, just like mining down here, drinking and putting dynamite down there. Oh, okay, I see. And you do see two passageways here and here. Well, let's not worry about the passageway. It's like, it's wow. <laughs> yeah. Exploration we don't need to do. Let's just jump into the pit and save those people. Okay. Well, well, how uh, we should have like two teams, like people evacuating, and the other ones like fending off the Shardana. I mean, the bald girl is gonna kind of suck, but you know. I'm gonna cast detect magic and see if there's any magical traps in the area. Okay, there's a bomb. <laughs> the only magic that you get the sense of is coming from somewhere over here. Sweet. Might be where the portal is. What? So we and- have the portal. Have you acti- activated the portal yet, or not? Uh, no. That's where it's going to pop okay. up. No, I would say no, not yet, because of... Uh, um, well, no, we know it takes us to the outer world. Well, okay. We don't know where the entrance is. Let's just go find some people. And you also do detect his magic portal device then. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, wait, have, I'm conf- so when we push the button, the portal opens up where we are, right? Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Yeah. As, as long I as this, you're in this area. Oh, yeah, I yeah. this time yeah. went 20, 20 minutes of explanation how the teleportation stuff <laughs> works. <laughs> I was confused. I thought it opened up a portal, like, you push the button and beside you the portal opens up. I didn't know there was, like, an actual, like, portal entrance we had to find. No, there isn't. You just have to be in this Hours area somewhere for it. And then, as long as you're in this area, the portal opens up wherever you want it to. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. I was confused. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Sorry about that. No, it's all good. Where'd uh, Farron go? The bathroom, I think. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the way you say that, it's like this character just <laughs> left. <laughs> okay, well, you opened it, right? No. No. Yeah, yeah, really, let's collect all the people first. Oh, okay. As far as make random porn, we all just say, <laughs> run in! <laughs> okay, I will approach prisoners. I feel like we should sneak attack the Balgura. I feel like we should not do that. It isn't, yeah. It doesn't even know we're here yet, so why instigate a fight? Isn't that like a demon? Yeah, it's, yeah, a, it's giant. Like a giant monkey demon. <laughs> I feel like we're out of our depth. Yeah, it's going to know. notice us eventually, though. Yeah, but I mean, like, if we if we if we got the portal and we got a bunch of people through, like, then we can yeah. kind of funnel them in. We can kind of fight off that thing, and then we can kind of all go through if need be. Okay. Or we can kind of get all the people to run in through. We can all fight it, and then like, as long as 
uh, there's no one else. Like we we'll, we probably stand a pretty great chance. Okay, one more question. We can close the portal at any time, or it's up for like the ten minutes. It's up for ten minutes. Okay. So we open the portal in like a far corner, tell all the civilians to run through, and then we fight off monsters while everyone runs through. Or yeah, because I mean, the way I was thinking of it originally, I, I thought it was all wrong. I thought we were like the prisoners were in one room, and the guards ran off to the other room. And then, yeah, so I thought we'd have, like, a few minutes of, like, brief respite to, like, throw them away. No, only a few guards ran to where the explosion went off. Yeah, they were more organized than I gave them Because they needed for. to make sure that the prisoners weren't going to try to escape or try to fuck anyone up. <laughs> so there's some in this room, then? Yeah, there's, um, like, the Bulgara, about three Fardana, and uh, the ten Rutterkin are still in this room. Uh, would I know anything about Bulgara? At all? Uh, do you like spinning? <laughs> would I? Yeah, because I read a lot of books. Yeah, you guys could roll uh, history or nature checks. Well, definitely going to do history then. It's like plus 80. So. 15. Uh, I got an 18. 12. 15. Uh, so you guys do know that they, it is a demon. Uh, you do know what they look like. It's like this gorilla type thing. You do know they... Speak abyssal and tell have telepathy. You know they're super strong, but not the smartest kind of creatures. As soon as it knows we're here, it's going to alert all the rest of the guards. Uh, you're not so sure because they're he. It's not a, that smart of a being. So. Okay. All right. So we send in. It's like an Australian accent now, <laughs> or something. Uh, we send in uh Mal and uh. He can pretend to be a guard and say that we need the Bulgara somewhere else and send the Bulgara off running, and then while he's gone, because they're stupid, uh, we can get these prisoners out of here, maybe. It's worth a shot. Sure. You have a good performance? Uh. <laughs> yeah. That's a. We should probably send the person with the best performance. Well, except he's the only one who seems like he fits in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. right. I didn't think about it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. I can do it. Do it. <laughs> what do you do think, Theron? Do, do it. Do it. Theron um, agrees. <laughs> so whenever she, I probably don't want to go talk to the guards. I probably want to talk to that thing. The, yeah. The yeah. Girl. Can you speak a missile? Uh, I do not think so. Because when it speaks telepathy, that doesn't mean it like can speak. You would have to speak our language yeah. to understand this, right? It can't speak common. No. Wow. wow. It's, it's a demon. Yeah, run to hand it. signals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, if I anything, you can. should try and trick one of the short, the remaining short nana guards because they'll be able to talk to Bulgara. Yes, they be on the same guard duty, and then That's you true. can uh, convince them to take him and the Bulgara. Then you get rid of the Bulgara and a guard. Is there? Do I see anyone that's like uh, by that thing, kind of like as it's like. Uh, Handler, kind of like a guard that's like, no, no, so she yeah, has a leash on it. <laughs> one trip on there, just like <laughs> pretending he's important, like holding this thing that could easily throw him on it. I thought that maybe just be someone like overseeing him. Um, all right, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll go up to one of the guards, maybe. Um, I'm gonna go for Dana or one of the yeah, uh, probably one of the short okay. Um, and I'm gonna approach him. Uh, is there like how close is there one? So if uh, we're, there, we just came through the entrance. Yeah, so the main, the Bulgara is right here. The Shardana is around here. Where one Shardana is about here, here, and here. And then the Radikin are just spread throughout. Okay, so I'll, I'll try to approach the closest Shardana. Okay. Um, kind of like, I'm going to try to like lead away from our group because we're kind of all stealth right now, right? Yeah. So I'm going to try to like walk off so like he won't see where I came from kind of. <laughs> Um, I'm going to approach him pretty confidently. And uh, so, are you trying to... Pre- what are you trying to pretend pre- you're being like? Why are you... How do you see him thinking you're one of them or whatever? Uh, just, just curious. Kill a, go- kill a civilian real quick. Yeah. Maybe you shake one of us with you, pretend to... <laughs> oh yeah, we can do that. We can <laughs> prove your appeal to by... We have the shackle <laughs> still. <laughs> we do have the shackle still. Should I be your guard again? Your prisoner again? <laughs> Hey, is uh, that the guy who ran away last time? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we could. I'm that. back, bitches! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, that might work out better if I just, like... Because either that or I can run up to this guy and, like, panic and tell him that we need 
that thing out in front and then he'll like freak out because you know it's like if i run up like suddenly because like all those all the uh uh explosions went yeah. off right so tell like, him it's a dragon don't tell him that <laughs> <laughs> why not that was one of the depths no dragon don't... would fit down here There's we just encountered here. a bear last session a dragon is much bigger than a bear <laughs> no it's not no a bear that oh yeah well, still bigger than a bear here yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah, I think unless it's like a young dragon. Yeah, dragon. Yeah. There's, there's five dragons out there. There's five <laughs> ancient dragons coming. <laughs> just say there's. <laughs> just saw five more trusts too. <laughs> <laughs> just tell them there's a big scary monster. We need the Balgar to beat it up. I'm just telling them there's an invasion in the front. Take one of us with you. Yeah, make it more convincing. Because I mean, at worst, he's not going to believe you, and then you have backup. And then make it more convincing, um, and tell them that there's like an invasion coming through the front, and that the explosion was a distraction. We need to go. Uh, All right. I don't know. All right. Yeah, I will. Uh, um. <laughs> I meant like when I said dragons, because an explosion went up, so it'd be like dragon breathing fire. But no, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'm trying to justify it now to make sense. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, right. Damn it, Clayton. Who wants to come with me as prisoner? I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> uh, I don't want to go. <laughs> Actually, it probably shouldn't be me because I have full armor. Yeah, it like you're somebody have... who's like more tattered, like Aaron. We can take. I, I can take Blaze again. Or Blaze. Blaze doesn't wear armor, does he? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, Carl will say, "I can go with you." Oh yeah, that's right. All right. All Whatever right. you want. I've captured this powerful old man. <laughs> <laughs> What are you going to do with your sword? <laughs> <laughs> I'll hold on to it! Uh, no, I think I'll hold on to it if he's going to leave it with us. Sure, I'll give it, I'll give it to you, All right. Ryan. Alright. Fuck! I trust you a lot more than Blaze. I don't blame you, he's got a plot. <laughs> Why am I here? <laughs> oh, man. You're here for the history. Why are we here? Just a second. Alright, uh... You're going to pass the shackles? I'll, I'll shackle Blaze. <laughs> <laughs> but I won't actually do it. I'll do it so you can get out. What? Um, no, El Caro is... Taking El Caro. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll shackle Blaze. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, I'll shackle El Caro. And, okay, and yeah. he'll say, I've got my daggers with me too, just in case something happens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 I heard you there. I don't know why that made me laugh. I just picture this old man be like, I got knives. <laughs> I, like, I walk up to him and I'm putting his t- hands, hands in cuffs. He's like, I got my daggers. Sorry, <laughs> man. I just imagine he's got like hidden up his sleeve, like he's gonna pop out like some sort of like assassin. <laughs> he's got like a, he's got like a, yeah, he's got like a, a fucking a butterfly knife. <laughs> okay, anyway. Yeah, uh, yeah, anyway, so take I take him away so we can I say people. quote unquote shackle Alquaro. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, and so what we'll, what we'll do is uh, I'll I'll take Alcaro with me. We'll go up, like I said, kind of leading away from the group, so um, they won't see kind of where we came from. I'll lead up to that Chardana. I'm gonna have um, Alcaro kind of like pushed forward. I'm gonna kind of like, or I'm gonna like grasp him, kind of like because uh, his his hands would probably be shackled behind his back. I'm assuming, yeah. or like in front. Like I'll grab him, kind of by the shackles, and kind of uh, look like I'm kind of like pulling him, like. Uh, leading him, and then I'm gonna go up to the sh- Shardana, and I'm gonna. Uh, uh, I don't want to throw him down. He's yeah, kind of do it. <laughs> Make it convincing. Um, Punch him in the face. <laughs> yeah. Talk out of I'm gonna kill him. Just, just kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I want that sword. <laughs> How dare you shout the rest? <laughs> Start beating the shit out of him in front of the Balgrim. I'm gonna walk up to the Shardana and kind of, uh, I'm gonna I push him down, actually. Um, <laughs> in front of the Shardana, I'm gonna say uh, to the Shardana, I'm gonna say, he tried to escape, but I caught him. This decrepit fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this stupid dummy. <laughs> <laughs> great. Great. Who are you? I haven't seen you. You don't... You don't look like one of us. Uh, it's because I'm a bounty hunter. I just came here to finish up the job. Roll... Uh, <laughs> roll these options, please. I'm Jonathan's brother. <laughs> you know Jonathan. Pop yeah, the guy. Artemis' cousin. 
Uh, <laughs> 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 that's an unnatural one. <laughs> what? Unnatural. Yeah, because it's a th- yeah. I wrote a three. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I I said an F and no, unnatural one. Because I wrote. I don't believe you. I. We don't bring bounty hunters with us. We do everything we need by ourselves. And then he'll take out his... Well, he'll like, get his weapon ready to attack you. Great. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> uh, so, rule mystery, uh, please. Have fun, man. I'm going to be over here. We'll be watching. You can take him. Uh, Tony can take out. Good thing we disarmed. His, <laughs> his, uh, yeah. his backup. What did you get? Uh, 13. Good thing Alcaro has his daggers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boy is ready. Um, also, I'm going to assume you gave me the key. Well, I didn't actually lock the shackles. Okay. But sure, I'll have given you the key. I don't think you made the key. Yeah, I did. Oh, you did? I, 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 I jumped. Yeah. Okay. We, okay. We, yeah. I think we discussed that last time. Yeah, because you had to get it off him somehow. And you wouldn't let me break them. Yeah, because... Because you could break them because they're impeccably made. I set them on fire and you got mad. They're wood. They're not wooden. They're metal. I threw them in the fire and you got mad at me. Yeah, gonna, they're, they're useful I'm to gonna have. Say, I'm gonna say that like for um, Akara, like that we can we say that we like we pretended to sh- like shackle him up, like it's like on his arms, but it's not like actually like locked. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So then he can kind of just like whoosh and <laughs> swing out his knives. Uh, so the Shardana got a natural 20 for his mm-hmm. initiative, so he's going mm-hmm. first. Sick. Um, <laughs> or he did. So he'll just attack you twice with his longsword. Do it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to die. First one misses. Second one hits. I assume. Because he got a 21. Yeah. Totally hit. Yeah, I guess. So you should cast like Shield of Faith on you or something. Uh, he'll do three damage to you. Or six damage, sorry. I feel like we need to set a revolt. Probably a good idea, yeah. And then it's it's your turn. Uh, can I join? Like, can I, will I see them, like, fight? Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna join You saw them, like, uh, move off in this one direction, but they're, like, probably around Uh, 50 feet away, or... But I would see them fighting? Yeah, you see them fighting. Yeah, so I'm gonna gonna start to run. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Swing my long sword at this guy. Okay. Teach him a lesson or two. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's nine. Nine, uh, that does not hit. Okay, cool. Uh, I was just joking anyway. <laughs> uh, and then Alcaro will, uh, lift himself, himself off the ground and then will try to, uh, stab him with the stagger. Can, can you keep an eye on that? Just make sure the lines are moving around so on. Let me know if one of them stops. Uh, that's a miss, so it'll go back to the Shardana. Cool. He yeah. misses his first attack. Just because everyone It's the second again. It messes up and then like yeah. it stops recording. Uh, he'll do 10 damage to you with the Slon Sword. <laughs> then it'll stack you. Just giving him a head And start. then it plays. You'll come in in the next round. Because uh, you're running here, right? Are you got, away, are they? Uh, they'd be about 50 or 60 feet away. Okay, that's fine. Are you guys I'll all? Stay where I am, okay. but I can attack from there. I would probably, before I ran, I would have just yelled for you guys to just save the prisoners and I'll give them a hand. We can start the portal thing over there. Yeah, yeah, I guess we'll do um, whatever. So, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna bring back my long sword and uh, attack him again. Okay. Uh, that one did not look. Good. Uh, that's a sixteen. Yeah, that hits. Sick. Uh, so that's seven damage. Seven damage. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Alcar will attack. It's um, and he'll do seven damage. So this guy's looking a little bit, a little bit bloodied so far. Sweet. Uh, so please, can you roll initiative, please? Baron, were you going to join into this <laughs> no, attack? No. Uh, okay. 21? twenty-one. Twenty. Okay, sweet. Do you want me to do it too? Are you coming? I, I thought I told you to stay with the prisoners. Well, I'm not going to listen to you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're trying to save them, though. That was an eight. Eight. Okay. I always roll poem for you. There's, 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 there's children in the hand. Dazzers, are you saying this? Okay. young. Okay. So did you start running right after Blaze started running? Uh, yeah. I'll Your just, little I'll, legs I'll, can't run as fast as me. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll move my 25 <laughs> movement speed. And then. Is it my turn? No, Blaze would be good yeah, first. Okay. But I just need to know that if you started running when he did, just because. Well, actually, if so, you, you would. 
be coming in the next round just because you're slower than him. But I can attack. I have, like, range attack. Yeah, range, yeah. Okay, so, uh, it'll be Blaze first. Okay, I'm gonna use my two daggers, and I'll slash at the guy that's bloodied. So okay. Wait, there's only one dude. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so the first one is a 21. Second one is a 14. Uh, so, that 14, uh... Because s- since you're using a uh, second dagger as a bonus action, I don't think you add your... I don't? No. Oh, no, you still do it to hit. Oh, to you do? Yeah, to hit. Okay, yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. okay. Yeah, both hit. Both hit? Okay. Yeah. So the first one is the down, so it's a d4 plus 3. Yee. Plus my so dex. So 3, 6 is 7, and then the next one is just normal, so 5. So 7 plus 5 is 12 damage. And then I'm going to spend a key point yep. to use Flurry of Blows, so I make two unarmed strikes as a bonus action. Oh, wait. Wait, no, but if I spend my key point, does it, can I use it then? I don't think so, because you only have one bonus actions. action you can do. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, no, that, that'll be the end of my turn. Okay, uh, this Shardana is going to attack you then, please. Miss, miss both. And then it's to Aelrenvel. Uh... I love it when they miss. I'm just gonna use my long sword again. Teach them a lesson. I'll encourage you. You can do it! Uh, 15. Yeah, that hits. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Blaze jumps for joy. Uh, that's 7. 7? Okay. Yeah. This guy's looking really badly injured. And Ryan, you are up. Alright, I'm gonna guiding bolt that guy. <laughs> that hits automatically, right? No, I have to make a range spell attack. And I get uh, 25 to hit. Hey, you definitely hit. Oh. Okay. And that's, I'm rolling great for now. Guiding Bolt is 46 rating damage, and <laughs> whoever hits him next has advantage if he's still alive. I think he's dead. I'm just... Okay, that's I'm just gonna 11, 12... Swoop in him for the kill. 11, 12, 16 damage. Uh, so how do you kill him? Like, where exactly do you hit? What are you trying to do with this? Sears head off. <laughs> I'm just gonna... I, whatever, I'm just gonna... Base shot. Um, Sears head fall off. Do it. I don't Set think it's got that much move to it, but I'll just, you know, strike him right square in the chest, stop his heart, <gasps> kind of thing. Okay. And then he'll fall over backwards, perfectly into like a pit or something for flavor, but whatever. For flavor. Yeah, yeah so uh, you, hit, you hit him and you're kind of at an angle to hit him, and you hit him and he stumbles back like 10 steps or so, and then falls back into nice. the next like, section of the cavern. Hephaestus sends his regards. Yeah, anyway. Who? Hephaestus. Oh, that's what you said. Sorry. What did you I, think I said? No, I just... I didn't, I didn't oh. catch it. I was like, yeah. who the hell's... What? Yeah, yeah that's no, cool. cool. Uh, so Lazarus and uh, Farron, what are you guys doing at this point in time? Because you saw these guys just go and fight this one Shardana after the failed attempt to beguile him. Does anyone notice us or them yet? So a few... Of the prisoners have noticed them, and two rudder can have noticed them, and they're, they're a bit far off, like probably about 50 feet away. Okay. Send the prisoners! But you you and Perrin have not been noticed yet. I feel like we should start a revolt now. <laughs> Do it. That'd be such a good idea. Oh man, we were trying to avoid fight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like we can. Yeah. That's uh, fine. No, no. The Bulgura has not noticed any of you either. It's kind of fucking idiot. Yeah. Well, mostly because he's, like, way down here, which is, like, 50 or 60 or 70 or 100 feet deep, I think. So all the prisoners are, prisoners are in that pit there? Or? Uh, no, there are some it, There are some in the second ring and then a lot in the center ring and then a few uh, just taking supplies to and from one area to the next, okay. or, like, taking stones from one area to the next. And do they all have guards watching over them? Uh, there are ten Rudderkin in yep. this area, and there are two... Shardana patrolling to here. All right. Well, actually, since only two Rudderkin have noticed them, and they haven't noticed me, I'd be able to do a sneak attack with my bow, right? Yep. Uh, how far away would he be? There'd be one probably about 70 feet away from you on this side, so probably around here-ish. And then there'd be another about here, which would be about 150 feet away. Okay. I'll just shoot an arrow at the closest guy. Okay. Let's try and silence him. What's the normal, uh, like, uh, longbow 
distance again? It's like one sixty three. No, one twenty and it's six hundred with disadvantage. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So uh, okay. I think it's six hundred. Six hundred. Yeah, I, I think that sounds right. About six hundred. Like, I think it's only one twenty or something like normal. Longo, oh, it is six hundred. So range is one fifty or six hundred with disadvantage. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I'll just so shoot the closest guy. Okay. Try and silence him out. And Baron, what are you doing? Do I get advantage? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> just wondering. I guess you would have time to aim since. No one's noticed you yet, so I guess I'll give you a bandage. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what the hell? I thought you were cutthroat. <laughs> Let's just switch. Just so everyone knows. Um, Zach rolled a nat one first. That's still uh, a... <laughs> Let the record show. Plus, so I got nine. That misses. At least you didn't shoot yourself. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> I, As you watch the arrow go, it seems to be heading right for one of the prisoners. <laughs> But at the last moment, you see the prisoner look, and he just drops the floor. Five. Hits him in Dead. the knee, and he drops <laughs> the arrow completely. So it hits the guard standing, uh, it hits the prisoner standing behind him. <laughs> <laughs> Unlucky Dave. <laughs> Kill the guy was standing there. <laughs> I was so close to getting collateral. So, Farron, what are you doing? Uh, I'll firebolt him. <laughs> Okay, uh, so what's, the, what's the range for that? 150. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I don't know okay. if anyone would see us at this point. How, so how, how can they not see us at this point? <laughs> like, we have fired an arrow and a fireball. This, this, is, this is like a tw- uh, 15 second battle that you had with the uh, Shardana. Yeah. Yeah. I know, but I mean, once uh, it comes yeah. to the top of the mission yeah. again, there's no Ten? way that misses. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Well, hey, you yeah, get we'll advantage see. too. Oh. Yeah, you, you would have advantage since you have time to like aim and stuff. Oh. Um, just forget it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's like eight. <laughs> Solid. And again, uh, <laughs> oh my God. this, go- this, oh my God. this firebolt goes right past the rudder, rudder kin, and there's a couple of prisoners that are standing behind him, and it hits one of them square in the chest, and he just oh. starts flailing and running and drops to the ground, trying to, like, drop and roll to put it out, and he's not having a good time at all. Roll for damage. Oh. Shoot, I does it, but it's fine. You know, well, no one's dead. I do it. No, someone died. So I gotta roll for damage? Oh, sure. <laughs> Alright, let's say I get some enjoyment. That's that's the wrong one. What yeah, are you for? yeah, it's a D10. Ten. <laughs> wow. Okay, so you see this guy rolling on the ground to try to put this fire out, and then about 10, 15 seconds later, he just stops moving. That's one way to save him. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to save him, not burn them alive. Uh, and a few more of the rudder kind of notice you now. The two Shardana still haven't, because they were here and here, I think. That didn't really go that well. Yeah, really. But the Bulgaria has Bulgaria has not noticed you, and we'll continue on next time on Nat 20. Going so well, guys. What did we actually achieve? Nothing. We killed the Shardana. Our plan went to shit, because we immediately started punching people. <laughs> well, you know... Classic us. 